I hope you're all well. A question I get asked a lot is, I've just bought a Cricut, now what do I do? So I've got a Explore Air 2 here, this is the sunflower colour, it is gorgeous. It's brand new in its box, I've never got it out, so we're going to get it out, we're going to look at how you set it up, we're going to look at linking it to your computer and design space. We're going to look at the starter project. And then I'm going to do more videos on how you move forward with your Cricut when you first purchased it. A statement that I hear a lot is, I have a Cricut. I've had it for three months, six months, sometimes a year. There's been a few occasions where it's been over a year and the machine is still sat in the box because people are scared of them. They buy them and then they come and they're intimidated by them and they don't know where to start. When I hear this, it really does make me sad. There are so many people out there that will help you. You know, I am there to help you. There are other uh, cricket YouTubers that will help you. There are lots of lovely, friendly groups out there that will help you. Cricket themselves are really good at helping you. They have starter videos. So we're going to do a complete starter series, starting with what we do when we first get our machine. Before we get started, I just need to give a big, big shout out to Crazy Crochet, who has made me my three beautiful crocheted cuties. Are they just not stunning? I will include a link to her page uh, on Facebook. As far as I'm aware, she's only uh, doing the UK at the moment, uh, but it's worth dropping her a line and kind of seeing if she will ship to other places, if you can arrange uh, shipment maybe. Uh, I don't know if she plans to do that, but it'll be worth dropping her a line because these are stunning. So depending on which machine you buy it will depend on what's in the box. So you'll obviously get your machine, be it an Explore 1, an Air, an Air 2, or the Makeup. If you're getting any of the ex if you're getting the Explore 1, the Air, or the Air 2, you will always get a blue light grip mat. And if you're purchasing the Maker, you'll normally find a blue light grip mat and a pink fabric mat. Sometimes they have done it where they've done a green standard mat and a pink fabric mat, but it will always say on the item description which mats are included. With all machines, you will find a charging lead. You'll find a USB connector. Now the Air, the Air 2 and the Maker are all Bluetooth. Uh, if you have the Explore 1, then you'll find that you do need a Bluetooth adapter if you want to use the Bluetooth, but if not, you can use the USB cable. And there's also always a fine point black pen. You always get a handy welcome booklet and there is always a starter project in there as well. Always worth looking through the booklet. It's nice and simple to navigate. It's really useful and the starter project is always a good project to get started with as well. I always love unwrapping machines. It just there's something about them when they are brand new. Look at that colour, it is just amazing. So to open any of the Explore machines, you're just going to press the open button. Around the blade housing you'll always find a secure piece of polystyrene, you just want to remove that. The Explore machines all come with a premium fine point blade as standard. The Maker comes with the premium fine point blade and the rotary blade as standard. There's a handy storage compartment for your tools. 
And there's also a magnetic compartment, which I find is great for putting my spare blades in. The Explore machines still have cartridge slots, whereas the Maker does not. And there's also a handy tool area or pen area as well. There's an on-off button. Law models have the smart dial, so you can move it round to paper, vinyl, iron-on, cardstock, and you can then do less or more. And then there is the custom setting. You have the load and unload button, the cut button, and the pause button. At the back of the Explore models, you will find the charging point, and you will also find the USB port so that you can connect directly to your computer if you wish to. So this is the Cricut Maker. You can see straight away it is very different to the Explore models. So first of all there's no open button so you're just going to very gently flip up the top piece and the whole machine will then unfold for you. The Maker comes with a handy shelving slot. This can be for your iPad or your Android device. The cartridge area has gone from the Maker. There's a long and then a short base storage area. You still have a handy storage compartment. And this one actually has more storage areas. You'll note there's no smart dial, you choose all your settings straight from your computer, your iOS or your Android device. As with the Explore machines, there's an on off button, a load and unload button, a cut button and a pause button. On the back of your machine you'll find the charging port and also the USB to, I don't know what this is called, I keep calling it a USB but it's not, the other end of it is USB. But this is for if you want to hardwire it to a computer. The lead, as I say, is in all the boxes with all the machines. The Maker does, however, come with a dedicated USB charging port. This is so that if you've got your iPad or your Android device on your machine in its dedicated slot, you can actually charge it. The actual setup side of the machine is exactly the same if you are using the Explore Air, the Explore Air 2 or the Maker. If you've got the Explore 1 then you're going to hardwire it to your computer or you'll need to get a Bluetooth adapter. But the sequence once it's hardwired to your computer is exactly the same. Whether you're doing it through Bluetooth or you're doing it through a wire, it is the same process for any of the machines. If you've got Explore 1, at this point you will need to add the cable to the machine and plug it into your computer or you'll need to add the Bluetooth extension which you can buy separately. If you've got the Air, the Air 2 or the Maker, you're going to now go straight to your computer. So I'm using my computer today, but if you're using a iOS device or you're using an Android device, you're going to download the Cricut Design Space app first and then you're going to go into your Android or iOS settings and you're going to Bluetooth to the machine exactly the same way in which we're doing it on the computer. You need to access it through either your device or your computer settings. So if we go to our computer settings and we go to devices on an iOS or an Android you're going to go to the Bluetooth setting you're going to add Bluetooth or other device and you're going to choose that we're adding a Bluetooth device. So it's come straight up saying there is a Cricut Air 2 which this one is so I'm going to click on that and it's then going to start connecting for me. Now it's going to ask me for a pin. Now the pin is always the same. It is 0, 0, 0, 0 and it is also always in the welcome booklet. 
So you want to put the pin in and then press connect. And our device is now ready to go. So it's all paired up. It is connected to my computer or my Android or my iOS device. Hopefully you've already downloaded Cricut Design Space because my advice is always before you buy a machine, you download Design Space and you have a play to make sure that it is the right program for you. It's very user friendly, but it is worth playing with before you buy your machine. If you haven't downloaded Design Space, you just need to go onto your Internet Explorer you need to type in Cricut Design Space and you can then download the Design Space program. I have got a tutorial on how you do this and I will link it in the description below. We will be looking at Design Space in more depth, how you navigate it. We will be looking at access. We will be looking at how you design things, how you work with projects. But when you first initially get your machine, you are so, so eager to make your very first project. So once you've downloaded Design Space and you've got your machine connected to your computer, you're going to come up to the settings button and you're going to go to new machine setup. So it will say welcome to the Cricut family, let's set up your machine, create a Cricut ID and make a fun project. So we're going to go to get started. So we'll always say to connect your machine using the USB cable. If you are using the Air, the Air 2 or the Maker, you just go straight to continue. So it will always tell us we need to update our firmware. So you're going to choose your machine. So this one is the Air 2 and it is via Bluetooth. The power button on your machine will turn from white to blue once it is connected. So the machine is now connected to Design Space and the power button has turned from white to blue. So it then says claim your goodies. Your Cricut machine comes with a collection of free images, fonts and ready to make projects. To add them to your account just register your machine by clicking continue. Yay! So we can then click continue. So you'll get a free one a month trial of access and then it is, if you're in the UK, £7.45 a month plus tax after your free trial ends and you can cancel at any time. I have got a video on access explaining all of that. We're going to start my trial. So you need to put your card details in. Uh, if you don't want to then you can just go back. You can cancel at any time and you can go to maybe later. So it's then telling us that we can do our starter project. So if you've got the Explore 1, the Air or the Air 2, it is a cardstock project and your starter kit comes with everything you need for this starter project. If you've got the Maker then it is a card project but it also uses fabric so you will be using the rotary blade. You can choose to continue on with the starter project or you can go to no thank you. If you choose to continue on it then brings you back to Design Space Home and it will tell you to click on the project and you can go straight to make it and it will walk you through the project. It's a really nice easy starter project. If you want to get stuck straight in you can go to no thank you and it will ask you if you're sure. It does say that most people find doing the starter project helps them to become accustomed to using Design Space so you can then choose to continue or say maybe later. It then says your adventure starts now. Design at any time at designcricket.com and we can then click start designing. In the coming weeks I will be showing you some great starter projects so make sure that you click the subscribe button and you also click the bell for notifications of when I get a new video. As always I hope this video has been helpful, thank you for watching me and I will see you all soon.